VR headsets are more popular among sim racers than ever before as more and more games start supporting the technology. However, most headsets are still quite expensive, which is why cheaper options like this Windows Mixed Reality headset are in great demand. But can it run Crisis? I mean, sim racing games? Let's find out together. Sim racing VR is a blast. No other display technology can morph you into the cockpit of your favorite car like VR can, which is why the virtual reality market has seen a rise in popularity over the last years. Games like Automobilista 2 and Project Cars, which utilize the Madness engine, feel like they were built for the virtual world. But because the glasses are still in their infancy regarding their technological development, many of them call for a steep price. Flagship models like the Valve Index can cost more than 1000 euros, a price not many can pay even if they wanted to. This is where Windows Mixed Reality comes into play. Unlike other VR manufacturers, Microsoft has commissioned other companies to envision their way with display technology. With HP, Samsung, Acer or in this case Lenovo, well-known companies have tried working with the Microsoft formula. This results in affordable Microsoft Mixed Reality headsets, a title that can be misleading though. Despite their name, which implies that those headsets mix the virtual and the real world, Windows Mixed Reality headsets are indeed just old VR headsets. Which is a shame, because the misunderstanding leads to many buyers overlooking viable options that are perfectly suited to VR racing games. In fact, Windows Mixed Reality headsets are compatible with Steam VR, which means they can just run about any game. The most criticized points of those headsets are the build quality and the motion controller tracking, which is absolutely insignificant when playing simulation type games, as we sim racers tend to have our own hardware for that. And yes, claims of poor build quality are actually true. The LCD displays aren't of the highest standard, swinging parts can break if you move them too often, and comfort isn't always provided when going for longer playing sessions. But Windows Mixed Reality headsets offer a crucial benefit, and that are different affordable price points. If you're unsure if virtual reality is for you or if your PC can even run it, headsets like this Lenovo Explorer set are an awesome starting point for your virtual adventures. Especially on the second-hand market, entry-level models like the Lenovo Explorer, Acer AH-102 and Dell Visor can be superb options to get into VR on the cheap. With an industry standard of 1400 by 1400 pixel resolution per eye and 90 Hz refresh rate, those supposed amateurs can stand their ground against names like the Oculus Rift S, which comes with a lower resolution. But don't be fooled by numbers alone. Yes, Windows Mixed Reality headsets are an awesome way to get into VR, but they come with many inconveniences that make the affordable price possible. For example, the cheaper models mentioned come with a relatively small sweet spot. This is the area where the built-in lenses are the sharpest. A smaller sweet spot means that objects become blurry at the edges, resulting in a less satisfying viewing experience. If you want to buy these headsets new, you can pay up to 380 euros for them. This is heavily influenced by the ongoing worldwide pandemic, which has inflated the prices rather a lot. As mentioned before, our recommendation is to look for second-hand options on the internet, where you can find those brilliant entry-level headsets for under 200. But if you're looking for the best money can buy, do you really have to invest into a Valve Index? Not necessarily, as Windows Mixed Reality headsets got you covered as well. At the end of 2020, HP released their newest entry to the Windows Mixed Reality catalog, the HP Reverb G2, a headset that comes with the highest resolution per eye of all consumer headsets. With a stunning 4320 by 4320 screen, the Reverb G2 is especially awesome with simulation type games. The price is currently almost 700 euros, which makes it only slightly cheaper than Valve's top dog, the Index. It's a good and viable option if you're searching for a high-resolution display that can get rid of the ominous screen door effect. Just be aware that the G2 will need enough GPU power to run and tops out at 90Hz compared to the Index's 120. Overall, it's safe to say that Windows Mixed Reality headsets are an option for you if you're looking to get your hands on cheap beginner glasses. They play every type of VR title in your Steam library and can even cope with bigger names in the industry than you might expect. Models like the Lenovo Explorer, Acer AH-102 or Dell Visor can be found on the cheap on the second-hand market and are perfect for your first steps into the virtual world. And even if you're looking for higher-end gear, Microsoft delivers with the HP Reverb G2, which comes with industry-leading technology. 
Of course, there are other great options for you to hop into VR with out there, like the Oculus Rift S, Quest 2, HTC Vive Pro and many more. But we thought you might just find the right headset for you in this lineup of good headsets with a complicated name. That's it for today. If you like this content, also check out our video about direct drive wheels. And for more esports racing content in general, go over on overtake.gg. Thank you so much for having me and until next time. Bye!